cord. Now he's trying to take this power cord water? and he's going to plug it into the wall and plug the other end of the power cord. He's going to drop it in water right now. Yo, bro, if this shit catch on fire, bro, real shit. Wallow. I swear that I'll be super high. I swear that I'll be super high. I swear that I'm steady thinking about my guys. I'm steady thinking about my guys. I'm steady thinking about my guys. I swear that I'll be super high. I'm steady thinking about my A nigga so high, I feel like I'm on the moon Bitch at my phone, said she really in the mood And she want me come through And she steady give me brain, but the bitch already graduated school Once I fucked in this poof, right back to the loop When I speak, is the truth, niggas act to be cool I remember in the trenches, I was packing the tour And I know some real hitters, they be acting a fool But I'm married to the bankroll, I be posted up where they can't go Diamonds on me looking like a rainbow Love my nigga teeth, that's my bank bro 3700, that's a gang no Swear I won't change though, remember them nights I was by the store We get that work, then they gotta go Real niggas, we like some dinosaurs, I take my shot, I ain't stopping no. Keep it around me, I know niggas plotting no. Young nigga focus, now I'm really on some rap shit. Good with them numbers, I was really on some trap shit. Niggas blowing money, but them niggas not stacking. When we get the money, then you know we gotta stash it. Niggas worrying about me, I'm just running up the cabbage. Thinking that it's sweet, had them headers at your address. Run through the work, made the shit through a backflip. Miss little bro, shed tears when it happened. Miss my brother Kurt on my birthday, they snatched him. In my city, it get cold, it get tragic. And your bitch won't fuck cause she know that I'm rapping She don't get a check, I just fucked and I'm dashing I'm Tryna get this bag, switch lanes in the Aston Shawty drop a penny, I ain't even gotta ask her I was in the trenches fast, way to get the cash up If you play with me, then them hitters gon' act up I swear that I'll be super high I swear that I'll be super high I'm steady thinking about my guys I'm steady thinking about my guys Steady on my mind I swear that I'll be super high Oh my oh, that's, that's, that's my shit right there Song of the week that's 37 Mac. That's my son, man. I really like that song, man. Like that's the song where he's talking about uh a lot of the homies that he that's done, you know, he done lost. You know, R.I.P. the Lil' Lean. You know, R. he lost a lot of homies out here, man. These streets are treacherous, man. And one of the kids, you know, one of the one of his homies that he mentioned was Kurt. You know, he has, you know, something that happened to him out here in Camden and unfortunately he was murdered. So R.I.P. to Kurt as well, you know. My son grew up with him. R.I.P. Cousin Kurt. R.I.P. Yeah, Kurt, actually man. Actually, Dev's cousin. So, you know, we want to send a, our condolences out to the family and all the friends. And, and Cam, shout out to Cam. Shout out to Camden, man. But, you know, we got to stop the violence, man. It's a lot of young people being murdered, man, for no reason. So to all the youngins out there, man, know that y'all could be great, man. Know that y'all could do anything y'all want to do out here. Just stay out the way, man. Please. Please just try to be productive. RIP to all the fallen soldiers that we done lost. Let's get into me and Osworth again. You're now tuned into me, 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 when some two people get an altercation, oh. I don't. I'm not. I'm not saying that. I'm not. Oh. I'm not. I'm just saying. I'm, it is what it is, man. Listen, but 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 at the end of the day, man, support for million dollars worth of game come from Manscaped, who is the best in men's below the belt grooming. Manscaped or for precision engineer tools for your family jewels. One thing about Manscaped that I like is when I use Manscaped, right? Especially the lawnmower 2.0, right? Mm -hmm. It mows my lawn good. And you, you, and you know the I thing said, about it. I heard it, you. I heard. You, no, no. Let me just say this. When it, when, when, you know, a lot of times when it's when it's lawn mowing time, you know, my allergies activate, but it don't activate my allergies. <laughs> That's why I like the lawn mower. I just <laughs> I, no I straight up. No, no straight up on anything I love. I just get up in there, listen, clean my whole thing up, and I just be feeling good because a lot of times when you know when I used to use the razor, I used to nick myself and I just be like, ah, yeah. the razor bumps mm -hmm. and all that stuff on me. You, they, they get a razor bump on your nuts. So That's so, like a different type. So, Hold so, up. That's so like y'all decorate type. your dicks. Yeah, you gotta decorate your piece. Listen, they, they get they get they get it like a wait, hold on. No, no, so, hold, so, hold, wait, wait, hold, so you decorate. gotta land the strip. No, no, from I ain't saying I decorate. I ain't saying huh? decorate. No, oh, no, 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 the thing about it Here's is, the landing strip right no, no, here. Listen, 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 no. This is the thing about it. I clean it up. 
And and you know what's so great about but what I like about Manscaped, <laughs> they also got the, the the crop. Listen, the crop preserver. Listen, the, the, the what? what? Oh, you don't know what that is? What's the crop? See, that's preserver. why. See, 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 you know what? The, the crop preserver. He's, no, I said crop. He's oh. walking around with funky balls. It's ball deodorant. <laughs> It's ball deodorant. Oh, you need hold on. So you need deodorant for your nuts? No, I'm just saying. You, listen, you, <laughs> yeah, you, I remember back in the day you did pull a musty. You pulled them M and M's out on the bitch. Listen, we was partying at the chick back in the day. You pulled them M and M's, the musty I nuts. Did, listen, that, hey, oh, yeah. bitch, then it passed out. Blood hey, pressure yeah, went listen, through listen, the roof. Listen, he pulled them salty nuts listen. out on the bitch, dipped it in her mouth, bitch, then they had a heart attack. One thing I like about that crop preserver, stroke. Forget what he's saying. One thing I like about that crop preserver, you moisturize your nuts. Like because it's all it's ball deodorant, but it's ball it's also moisturizer. No, hold on. So what's it trying to make your balls smoother? Like it's making your balls got to get relaxed. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> so, Ain't nothing like relaxing your balls. So you relaxing? No, you relax your nuts after you take. Hold on. Let's make a phone. Let's call somebody. <laughs> hold on. Let me call. I'm gonna call two and see if I need to get my if I need to decorate the dick. Let me see. Women like the women like that. I'm telling you, man. Oh, I can't. I'm gonna call what's name. Who? Call somebody we just we talking to Mayor. Manscaped. <laughs> when you need to decorate your balls. Right Who is this? See if Mayor answered the phone. Mayor. Mayor. Manscaped. <laughs> when you need a uh, mirror. Hello? Mayor. Hey. This Gilly, Mayor. Oh, what's up, Gil? Let me ask you a question, Mayor. Mm -hmm. Um, I know it's early in the morning, so I don't want you to take this the wrong way, but do you like decorated dicks? What? what? You mean wait, oh, like, do you like decorated like dicks? Dick? Like, dicks that's decorated, like. Like, ones that got, like, awards and people say that he put in the work. Like, oh, <laughs> oh, oh, we know what's on your mind. She like, yeah, I love dicks with them. Got them. <laughs> general, the general dick. She like the general, general, the general of all dicks. He got a purple heart for this dick. No, no, we not talking about. <laughs> we not talking about the decorated dicks like that. We talking about, like, when a man, like. You know, like, because when I pull my piece out on two, it's like wild hair everywhere. It's like hair on my thighs. It's like, do you like when a dude, do you like when a dude groom his piece? Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. I like a manscaped. I do not like all that like, wild pubic hair. You like a manscaped? <laughs> look, look. Yes. Yo, that's great. I said that, that don't got nothing to do with the landing strip. That, oh, that's great, because Wallo said here, he's talking about, man, yo, that's crazy. She but it ain't got nothing to do with it. He it said, ain't. talk about Manscaped, talk about how he got the landing but strip from I his balls. No, I ain't say I had no, from his balls I ain't say I had no fucking butt. landing strip. Yeah. I never said I had no landing strip. You got you the landing strip. Take that fucking shit off. You lying to me. Take the sweat off my name. Take that shit off my name. I never said I had no landing strip. He talking about how, how Manscaped relaxes his nuts. No, listen. They got a crop preserver. It's a nut relaxer. Listen, 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 listen. Listen. Now, think think about this. If you was, listen, because women out there, now, Mir, don't yeah. it, it, don't women out there uh, groom they, they, they man's private parts sometimes? Yeah, and, and they, women make sure we're groomed, so why wouldn't our man be? Now, 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 oh, listen. So now I, listen. I got to stop pulling this wild piece out on too. Now, now, listen, now, listen. They also, listen, one thing about Manscaped, they got this thing called, listen, the crop preserver, right? It's ball, deodorant, and moisturizer. Would you get that for your man, right? I'm telling you, the shit work. I love it. But but ain't this like a great gift for women? Yeah. Like, you see what I'm saying? Well, we said decorated piece. You talk about, oh, the dicks that's been to war? <laughs> I love those dicks. No. What, type of war? what type of war they been to? Okay. They got Mira, we love you because I didn't expect you to agree with this nut ass nigga. Bye. Love you. Right. But, but oh, listen. She agree with listen, your nut ass. This, this the whole thing. The whole thing is this. At the end of the day, I'm trying to get dudes right. I'm telling you, you want to be right for your woman because when you when your shit is right for your woman and you just, you know what I mean, that's when you just want to walk oh, around man, the crib and ass pulling out, You niggas put them out, pulling out decorated little dicks. No, it no, don't no. matter. Let me tell you no, something. No, 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 when, no. when your dick little, no, no, no. it don't matter if it's decorated or not. No, no. It ain't getting the job done. I pull this wild piece out on her. I pull no, this wild shit, piece out is, on her and it don't matter because she gets the job lady. done. But I got to find out if two want me to decorate this dick. If you want me to decorate this dick, I'm going to get the man cave. What is it called? Listen. Everybody What's out it called? there, Manscaped, listen, M Manscaped, man. Manscaped, I'm going to get the Manscaped kit ASAP. Listen, but see, this the old twist. You want me to decorate the Everybody out for? there, go to manscaped.com, man. You get 20% off a of free ship and use the code GAME, G-A-M-E, code GAME, man. You, I'm telling you, listen, that ball deodorant, moisturizer. You needed it, too, because they oh, said man. your nuts was, ooh. Oh, man, it, it just had you like. They said your nuts smell like African wolf pussy. Shooby, dude. <laughs> That's how, as soon as you rub it on, it's just like your nuts sing like, hey. shooby doobie. I'm telling you, man. <laughs> Let's get in a million dollars worth of game, man. Let's get in a million Listen. dollars worth of game, man. Let's okay, first of all, we, first of all, I was going to start it off with something, but uh, unfortunately, 
you brought all this dumb ass shit in here talking about you cooking niggas a chi chi today. So go ahead and put your chi chi together. We going straight for stories from the cell. I'm gonna show this dude stories exactly. from the cell I'm was show this dude exactly. you. Like this right here is a stinger bowl. This bowl right here is where you cook all your stuff in, right? You cook all your stuff in in this bowl right here. Right? So to the people that's listening, right now he has a a a, a what would that could be considered? He has a container that he's putting water in. Yeah, usually this be like right? the cookie bowl. Anybody that been in jail and before? Noodles. Hold on, he has a oodles and noodles, couple packs of oodles and noodles. He has dash seasoning. He has paprika. He has honey. He has barbecue sauce. And he has an extension cord, salt and pepper, and a pair of fucking fingernail clippers. See, now now let me start this off first. Right here, this is a bowl. Usually they have a cookie bowl when you're in jail, right? You have a cookie bowl when you're in jail. Now, now you had a, you had a cookie bowl when you were in jail. That, that mic is a little, uh, he's a microphone fiend. Listen, you have a cookie bowl when you're in jail, right? So this is where you cook it. If you, I'm talking about these to the real dudes that's in the penitentiary. They had like stingers and all that stuff. They understand this bowl right here. This bowl right here, this is where the water go at. You throw your little salt in here because what you salt is, it activates a stinker. We're not talking about the dudes that do county jail bits where they just use hot water from the hot water sink and put it in a chip bag, wrap it up in the towel. We're talking about real cooking right here. This is what you call a stinger, right? I'm going to show you how to make this stinger first before I even start prepping my stuff. You take a stinger core, right? You usually have fingernail clippers off a of commissary, right? And you take this right here and you cut it, right? You put this through here. So right now, this dude is cutting an extension cord for I don't know what reason. Now, I'm going to give you the right. game. With a fingernail clip. This. Right here. See this? This right here is going to turn into your stinger. Your stinger is where you get the heat from, where you really cook your food in its next level. Okay. You, I'm talking about your food, be, your food be next level, right? And this and this is very important in, in the process of... Having a great hot meal. I'm talking about the meal. I'm talking about a, like a restaurant meal. Something that weirds though. You, you have this meal and you just feel like, oh my god, this is like, is I'm out of, is I'm out of. The like joint. he's really on some MacGyver. He's he's twisting wires around that's hanging out of a at the end of an extension cord. So he took the part of the extension cord where the actual plugs are and he cut it off with a with a toenail clipper. Now he has like the copper wiring and he's peeling it out. Um and exposing the wires and then using the actual toenail clipper to twist it. Mm-hmm. Like this is some deep shit. All this yeah. to eat some oodles and noodles. Yeah, bro. yeah. No, but see, you you already had real, this. Some real no, no, you already had this made. On. You already had this made in your cell, right? You usually had this made in your cell already. But what it is is that I'm making it for you guys so you can see the process of making a stinger from from I'm talking about from the ground up, right? You are you most of the time you want the wires to be level. And you want your shit to be on the same time, so you don't have to. Uh, what's the name? And that's what that's what I'm focusing on right here. But what are you going to plug that into? Into? I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna plug this into. I know y'all guys is like you plug this into the wall, to the socket. Plug what in? You're not plugging that shit in the wall. Why I'm not? Why? I'm how not? you gonna plug just wires in the wall, bro? That's how you gotta plug the. No, you're not gonna plug the wires in the wall. Oh my god! What are you going to do? this shit like you want some real live? Bullshit! Like you doing all this shit, man? Yeah, this is what you gotta do. I'm talking about you want a good meal. You want your shit to be hot. You want your shit to be right. Yeah. So he's sitting here biting it and twisting it and exposing more wires. I don't understand what the fuck he's doing. Though. All this to eat some fucking noodles, man. Mm -mm. See, y'all gotta understand something that's very important. When you in jail, everything is about MacGyver, MacGyver tactics. And I just want, I just want to make sure that the people out there can see. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck. All of their family members. Oh, what is you doing? Yeah, this like, is all he's all this time he's been sitting here biting wires and shit, trying <laughs> to get a fucking like. I want this shit to be right now. Listen, let me tell y'all something. It's two type of stingers in jail. You got these. You get these usually from the machine shop in the prison. A piece of a little piece of wood. It could be popsicle sticks or whatever. Because this shit can't touch. You want to have it separated, right? But the day I'm gonna use the small time dudes shit right here, and that is. Right here, you can always get these off a of, off a of commissary, right? You get these fingernail clippers off a of commissary. This nigga just broke a fingernail clipper down in two seconds. <laughs> yeah, he did. Like, like that's, that's just see crazy. this right here. And, and, and there's multiple ways that you could go with this, right? All right, let me just say something, bro. Get the fuck away from me, just in case you shock yourself. Don't I'm not fucking shock touch myself. me, man. And see, you could break I'm not this going right down here. With you, see this, man. see this right here. You can break this, right? 
This could be broken. Break right what? What do you exp explain it to the people? Right here, right here. See right here? You could break this fingernail. We don't even know what it is. You yeah. could break what? <laughs> it's a fingernail clipper. Oh, okay. See, you could break this, and when you break the fingernail clipper right here, these two right here, this this shit right here, this these two things right here, you can separate them, and they're going to be your stinger. All right. Which was going to supply everything you need. Yeah, this shit look goofy. It look crazy, don't yeah. it? Yeah, he's really breaking this down, trying to make a fucking I Chi-Chi. All this, bro. Like, by the time you'd have did all this, bro, I wouldn't have been hungry no more. I'd have been like, I'm cool, my nigga. Like, I don't want that been. shit. You wouldn't have said that. Like, you're doing all this extra shit. You would have never like, said you that. You got to do all this shit to eat. Like, I'm cool, my nigga. I'm going to wait the child in the morning. Yeah, like, can't you just get your food from the hall? Right, like, like, and if you shock yourself, bitch, do not touch me. I'm not fucking playing. I think this is because he but was I'm still But I'm going to keep it hungry. all the way real. If you die, our rating's going through the roof. So that's why I'm letting you do this shit. Yeah, you know I mean? We're we going to beat everybody on the charts. You you die. I'm more worried about this whole fucking spot catching on Don't fire. Don't worry about it, Dev. We, we upgrading your position, Dev. We Gilliam fucking Dev. From... <laughs> what the fuck so, is As soon as he plugged this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Soon as he plug this bitch up and go in the and go in the dead and die. Yeah, so why wouldn't you just eat out of the Cause kitchen? You mean to tell me you came home to do it you did a nice deal with bars do to electrocute yourself about some oodles and noodles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because he want them to taste the way they tasted yeah, in jail. I want you to taste I wanna, <laughs> They don't taste don't the same on the stone. I don't wanna cook them in a pot. <laughs> nigga came in here. <laughs> Early in the morning with all this dumb ass shit. We like, nigga, what the fuck is this? I'm cooking a stinger today. Hold on, look at what he's doing right now, bro. Like, you, you cooking a stinger. I mean, you cooking a Chi Chi for niggas that's home. Like, this is how you know he's bro. been locked up too long. Now you he, you had something, something he's, strong to break this with. I don't have nothing on this table. Like in the cell, you would just had a metal joint that you'll be. You that that you'll be. You had a metal joint that you you'll bleeding? be. Able to break. Yeah, I, I cut myself. My fault. Yo, he's oh wild. my yeah, yeah, yeah. god! <laughs> Yo. Who went Chi Chi with blood on it? Like hand sanitizer. Oh my that's god! That's not how you do burn. it. That's oh not... my <laughs> god! Oh my god, man! What this are you is... doing, bro? I cut my hand. Bro, we don't understand what's happening right now. It's oh my god! Cut. This nigga bleeding. He putting blood on the noodles. This shit is crazy. Don't worry about it, I ain't eat none of that shit. Lil, what's name? You ain't got to eat it. Don't worry about it. So, now what? Now what are you doing? He don't know. I know what the fuck I'm doing. I'm a legend. <laughs> I don't want to hear all that you was the chef up north shit taking 45 fucking minutes to cook it <laughs> to get the stinger right. I don't want to hear that shit, Nigga, dog. I could have put this shit in the right, microwave right, right in the other yeah, room and we'd have been done. been eating already. <laughs> like, we don't want to hear none of that shit about you was the chef up north. What yeah. is that, a toothbrush? You would have got left up north, but you was the chef up north. He's putting rubber bands. This nigga making this nasty ass contraption. Like. What the fuck? We can't even explain to y'all what he's making to all the listeners. We can't even explain to y'all what he making because this shit don't even, he done cut himself in here. He, yeah, I mean, he's dropping he, blood all on the noodles. So he he broke a um he broke a toenail clipper in half, and then in between the toenail clipper, there's like, is that a toothbrush? What is that plastic thing? What is it, uh, Wallow? In between it. Oh, it's, it's a toothbrush. It's a toothbrush, and then he he put it in between like a sandwich, and then he wrapped those up in rubber bands and put them at the edge of a of a power cord. Now he's trying to take this you power cord the water? and he's going to plug it into the wall and plug the other end of the power cord. He's going to drop it in water right now. Yo, bro, if this shit catch on fire, bro, real shit, wallow. Wallow. Yo, Wallow. Wallow. Oh, my God. As Yo. you can see, as you can see, <laughs> as you can see, the stinger is operating in there. You see it, you see it operating. I'm ready to have it fizzled. Hold on. It's already water in there? It's water in here. It's, it's jumping. And I'm putting more water in here so I can get my stinger piping hot. Yo, my nigga. Yo. Bro. I, yo, bro. The power going to fucking go out of some shit. The power man. would not go out. Watch this. As you can hear it. 
They can't hear that on that microphone. They should be able to hear. You need me to put sound effects in. No, you don't need no sound effects. Y'all can see it. Yo, that water got yo, hot yo, fast yo, yo, as shit. Yeah, that, that water no. brown as shit too. Yo, 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 yo. No, that it, shit look like dirty bath no, water. No, because you can use the stinger plates, right? You can use plates from like a machine shop. Yo, but this, what, listen, listen. But when you're using this, when you're using fingernail clippers, this, 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 the, the, the coloring from the fingernail clippers come off. But it's cool. You just need the water hot. Now it's time for me to make the chichi. Oh. I'm gonna sit this down on the floor before I go in. Now y'all see the steam coming off of it. Steam is coming off of that. For these guys that think it was a joke, oh, uh, okay. I'm gonna show you what's going on now. They can't hear you, Wallow. I'm gonna show you what's going on now. Now all this stuff right here, this is out the way. Now it's game time. Chi-Chi time. Put some headphones on Wallow so he could tell that, you know. Yeah, you got plenty. Hello? Of yeah, Chi-Chi time. Here we go. All right, so now he has listen, two packs of tuna. Listen, spicy tuna. Right tuna. now. He would be spicy. My <laughs> floor is buzzing. Right here. Like, literally, my feet are buzzing. You hear the stinger? Dog, look how dirty that water is. Yeah, because and literally... You're not, you're not using the water. You're cooking it in a bag in the water. You, the bag, this, this water is not going to be used in the food. Oh, all right. Yeah. So, as you hear Man, this... leave that shit on the table. Yo, yo, this shit is vicious. It's shaking. The, it's going to shake the table. Look. Now, listen. You, you break your soup up. <laughs> you can't break it too much because the bag will break. This idiot and ate some of my soup already. Yo. Because this is the only way I eat oodles and noodles. Now, like Pete, this. watch this. Like this. I don't eat oodles and noodles cooked. I only eat them like this. Yo. Now, watch this. You put your noodles in here. He's putting right. noodles inside of the, 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 the oodles oh. of noodles. He's putting them inside of a hers barbecue chip bag, the big kind. That you can use any type of chip bag. Anybody that's been in penitentiary, they know the chip bags is always, you know, the way to go. And it just got to be a chip pack. It can't be a regular plastic bag because it'll melt, right? No, you can use some plastic bags. Mm. They got to be strong. But as you see, the stinger is going crazy over there. It's doing this one. It's doing a one, two. Oh, don't worry about that. Little, little, little what's the name? Now, listen. It's always good to have a cup of soup because it got more flavor in it. So okay. add a little cup of soup. Crushing that up. He's adding this. He's basically making a bag with all these different flavors in there. Yeah, this cup, the cup of soup got great flavor. So he um, put... He got a big bag of barbecue chips. He emptied the chips out. He put two packs of oodles and noodles in there. And now he's putting a cup of noodles in there. I always usually have a bag close to me, throw all my stuff away. All the stuff that I'm not using. I'm also going to use this seasoning right here. Oh, yes. This is going to so by the way, at, at this moment right now, this I'm catching water the that's flashback. cooking is dirty as shit. You it, keep worrying about the water that's not getting used in here. You just use this. Now, if I would use the plates... It wouldn't have been because it's just getting all. And when when I pull this, when I pull this, what's the name out? When I pull the uh, the nail clip out, you're gonna see that it and get electrocuted. No, I'm not gonna get electrocuted. You're gonna see that everything came off of there. Uh, but right here, as you can see, everything is going. Everything is going okay, right? This whole table is vibrating, y'all. If y'all, yo, this this nigga is crazy, man. I take this. Oh my god, this is. Oh yes, talk to me. Go ahead. So now so he's he putting put spicy, spicy tuna in there. Mm-hmm. That sound nasty, but go ahead. Oh, my God. Get the spicy tune up in there. This dude, man. You got to try it, though, Dev. I ain't trying this shit. You got to try it, Dev. You and be rock. This shit, do you see this water, dog? It's like putting something <laughs> in the toilet. Like when they had them sandwiches in the toilet, dog. I, <laughs> I really think you could, you get electrocuted eating this motherfucker. Like, come yeah, on, man. Yeah, that's some dirty ass water, bro. You worried about the Is water? Is this shit going to melt through the table, bro? For real, for real. No, it's not going to melt through the table. Y'all y'all see, see. Oh, yeah, because that, that see, shit might melt through that see, container. Y'all, yo, is bro. it going to melt through this container for real? I know what I'm doing. Y'all y'all true civilians. Y'all sound real crazy right now. Okay, I sound crazy, but you got a fucking extension cord plugged into my wall, normal and then life, you got the, uh, the other end cut off, dipped in water. That's normal life for me. I'm a true. Now you get this right here. This this paprika is always good because what it do is it color your stuff. Usually you still steal this from a uh, steal this from the kitchen. You steal this from the kitchen, and uh, but it gives you great coloring. You going when, when this happened, when this all is said and done, you're gonna love it. You're gonna be like this guy. This is a meal. A real penitentiary meal. Anybody that know me that's watching this, and if uh, you ever walk past my cell when we was in a joint and I was making one of these great meals, just, just throw a thumbs up. You know who I am.
Yo, that's now what I'm going to do, so what I'm going to do right now, hold up. I'm going to un- unplug this, right? I don't want y'all to be, oh, what's the name? But don't, don't worry about that. I'm going to unplug that stuff. But when I plug it back up, this is going to cook in no time. You're going to plug it back. I got to plug it back up when I'm cooking this. Now, this right here is real simple. Everything is already in there. All I need is a little green pepper, right? A little quick green pepper. I could have got you a cutting board or something. I don't need nigga. no cutting board, bro. We don't use cutting boards in jail. You use the top of your, your bowl, your Rubbermaid bowl that you bought off a of commissary. So right now he's cutting up green peppers on a Rubbermaid bowl, the top of it. <laughs> All this to make something to eat, bro. Like, this shit is goofy. Like, See, the whole thing is. I'm tired. <laughs> I ain't even in a cell. People, people, like, in, people in the free world. They're unpatient. When you're in jail, you got all the time in the world. When you're locked in your cell, talking to your cellie about back in the day, the girl that left you, who she's screwing now, you see what I'm saying? All that type, type of stuff, you got nothing but time. And that's what I got, time. Well, how many green peppers you got to put in there? Oh, no, bro. me, I like flavor in my shit. <laughs> Anybody that know me, you got to have, but the more flavor, the better. This is. The more flavor, the better. Right here. Dev, you gonna taste some? We'll see if you're alive at the end of this whole shit. Oh, I'm be alive. Uh, we gonna eat these at your funeral, nigga. If you did, we gonna make sure everybody got a motherfucking chi chi. Bro, you taking too long to put that shit in there, man. I'm not taking too long. Have patience, bro. We have nothing but time. We're, this we're... gonna be this gonna be an extra long episode, a million dollars worth. Of right. Game. That's what they want. They want a long episode. <laughs> they want to know how to make a chi chi in the crib. I mean, anybody that want to know, all you girls out there that's holding your men down, that want to know what your boyfriend going through, right now, look at Million Dollars Worth of Game. You're going to see exactly how your boyfriend make his meal in jail. When you be sending him that commissary money, this is the meal he makes. It's crazy because now y'all could, y'all could actually have a Chi-Chi prepared for when y'all fuck one of them uh, Fifi's, and then you know you got to eat something after you nut. Then you got the, you got a Chi Chi to eat. Chi Chi's and Fifi's. I'm gonna tell you, man, Chi Chi's take too long, man. <laughs> no, they don't. He just don't have no patience. That nigga was in the cell. Chi Chi, do you love me? Am I riding? <laughs> yo, yo, yo. At the yo, a Chi Chi after a Fifi is something else. Now, oh for, my god. Now for real, Chi Chi after Fifi. Now for real though, on some real stuff though, I'm gonna tell you some real stuff. A lot of them dudes, they they made Chi Chi's because they never Chi Chi after a Fifi. They call this dirty rice right here. This this called dirty. Because the 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 chi really the all right, dog, You don't need no more onions, man. Don't tell me what I don't need, man. man you got onions all on my table, bro. Like the right, table going no- stink, bro. Don't worry about it. I got you. You don't need no more onions. Bro. All right, weather that shit around, man. Let's see what how you cook this shit up, man. Uh, you got to put water in there. Yeah, you got to. Yeah, it's gonna oh get a little God. moist. Watch this. Watch this. Oh, and then it's going to boil from there. Okay. Why you got honey? Because you put it on after the fact, baby. Yo, this this sounds disgusting. This is disgusting. I'd rather eat diarrhea shit out of a chip bag than this, eat this shit. One thing that I know is, nigga, eat, that's, nigga, I'd rather eat diarrhea shit out of a sour cream and onion bag before I eat this shit. Bro. I'm just keep, I'm just keeping it real with you, player. You're taking too fucking long to put this bullshit ass GG together, man. Game time. <laughs> Game time. What the fuck? So he's now he's just pouring water inside of this chip bag and over and over again. It up. And he's <laughs> shaking this. Okay, so now he's finally cool. And when you do this, bag. you like this. You do this right here to make sure it ain't no it ain't no holes and none of that shit in your bag. Game time. Now he's putting a rubber band on the chip bag to make sure it's closed. This is way too much work. Get me a candy mm. bar, nigga. Game Snickers. Time. So now he's about to electrocute himself again. Is he? Bro, that shit gonna start burning, bro. Let me let me do what I do. Get it away y'all, from the wall at least. Yeah, yeah. Y'all scared. Listen, y'all scared. Get it away. Yes, nigga of Why electricity. Why don't you put it up here so we can see it? No, no, he's going to be, oh, it's on the table. All right, go ahead. Go ahead, nigga. Go ahead. You got the motherfucking tables. So what now? How long <laughs> this joint take to cook? Do you got something I could put over there, Dev, like to keep it warm, like a, a shirt or something? Do you have anything? Yeah. Give, yeah, me, give have... me some. 
Give me something I can put over there. Take your shirt off. Put it over it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's wrong with you? Come on. Set this bar stool. Oh, he got a wife beat on today. He usually be naked out this joint. He shitted on himself the other day, too. We gonna talk about that, too. Don't think I'm gonna let that go. My hoodie is cool. My hoodie can get clean. But the hoodie... Right. So you're about to put that on top? Yeah, because because what it do is... It, it holds, Bro, that it holds the heat that falls back... It holds the heat in. Then now this nigga's using a shirt as the top of a pan. Uh, something so how cloth, long do we got to cook? No. It cooks for a minute. Why would something cloth so, be near so, a wire? Don't worry about it. I got this. Dev, when yeah, you're well, in jail, uh, you got to do you got to do You got to do, do what you got to do. do in jail. Yo, okay, guys, so so how long does that need to cook? It could cook up to 10 minutes. It cook, it oh, depends. 10 minutes, okay, cool. All right, so let's get into Million Dollars Worth of Game while his Chi-Chi cooks. Yes. Right? This Million Dollars Worth of Game is brought to you by Seat Geek. Let me tell you something. Uh, I like Seat Geek though. Me, Why? Because Seat Geek is they give you ten dollars off when you sign up on your tickets. Seat Geek always got tickets available, and if you go to Seat Geek to get your tickets, we actually me and we use Seat Geek for the for the fight that just happened mm -hmm. down in in AC. You know what I mean? Somebody just put me up on Seat. But they only gonna give you ten dollars off because of you, and you gonna give them the game code. Yeah, they you gotta, gotta use the game code. You gotta give them the game code I mean, when you when here. you first sign up, and you know your promo code. You punch in game, they give you ten dollars off. Any you know, ten dollars off your ticket that you're mm -hmm. buying. But also, what's good about about Seat Geek is when you get your ticket, they they do a rating system from one to ten. So, say if I get a ticket and they are gonna rate how good this seat is, you feel what I'm saying? Opposed mm -hmm. to you might have a fifty dollars seat right here, and but it might not be as good as this fifty dollars seat right here. Right, right, you feel right. what I'm saying? Yeah. So, Seat Geek gives you a measuring point where you could be like, ah, nah, 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 nah. I'm I'm taking this other this joint. seat right yeah. here. You feel what I'm saying? That's what's so good about it. Yeah, that's what's so good about it. And and Sea Geek is really the shit. Like I didn't anytime I want to go anywhere, I'm I'm on Sea Geek. All you gotta do is download the app, any your promo code, which is game. I just want to tell you all that again. G A M E. Yes. You know, me and I was worth a game. We do love giving back. So you mm -hmm. enter your promo code game and they gonna hook you up. They're going to hook you all the way up, baby. I don't care where you need seats at. Mm -hmm. To whatever event, Seat Geek got you. You feel what I'm saying? I, I use Seat Geek all the time. We I don't want the three events now that I didn't use Seat Geek. I went to two fights, and I went to a basketball game. And you enjoyed it? I enjoyed it, man. Mm. I enjoyed That's all it that a lot, man. I enjoyed it a lot. So Seat Geek is the new wave, man. Make sure y'all go get the app. And make sure when you download the app and you put your information in, make sure you do not forget the promo code, which is GAME. And SeatGeek saves you a lot of time, too. And it's compared to all the other prices for everywhere else, it's great. It's great. So just make sure y'all get with SeatGeek for your next up-and-coming events. Anytime you want to go somewhere, SeatGeek will definitely get you right. They're going to take care of you. They're going to take care of you. SeatGeek. Let's get into million dollars worth of game. Uh... Wallow's been sick for, well, you were sick for three days. I knew you didn't think I was going to get past this. You've been sick for three days, right? More than that, from like from like Friday to like, it was crazy, man. He was in the car on his way to a meeting, and he thought he farted, but he shitted on himself. <laughs> and what's so crazy about it, right? <laughs> on the way to a meeting? <laughs> on the way to a meeting, he shitted on himself. But listen, what's so crazy is, you know he wear them Ithaca draws, right? I mean, you know they tight around the thighs, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. None of this shit couldn't get out. It was trapped there. He, he, That's good. He had the Ithaca diapers on. He was sitting. <laughs> hey, That's good. Hey, and the whole time he riding, he just, he sitting his shit. It's just all bushy on his ass. He trying to keep, he, he trying to keep adjusting himself. He like, I'm like, damn, low, like, like. At 40 years old, though, you shouldn't be shitting on yourself. Like, no, this is what happened, y'all. <laughs> like, what's up with what's up with LCL, man? Loose I cheeks, crazy. low. Listen, like, listen. I was like, taking, I took so much, it. I took anything under the sun. What's up man. with your What's up with your cheeks all loose, man? <laughs> so what happened is, I'm driving, right, <laughs> nigga? She came out like a fountain soda. <laughs> listen, listen, I'm driving, and I thought I farted, right? Uh huh. I already I, explained that. No, fuck that. When I realized, I said, "Whoa, it was wet." I said, "Whoa." <laughs> So I leaned up like this in the seat. I was like this in the seat. 
I had to lean up. I'm like, cause I can't. I ain't want that shit to hit my seat uh-huh. in my car because I felt it on on, on my my Adidas sweat. So I'm yeah. like, hold up, hold the fuck up. Yeah. So I'm so my, as I'm linked up like this, I'm linked up. I had to pull my pull my hoodie off, right? Mm-hmm. Pull my motherfucking hoodie off. Put take, it underneath and sit on my hoodie. So I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, oh my god. But but he was a whole like. 35 minutes away from his house. So he had to ride. <laughs> he had to sit. So it was like, so I'm like, it was a wild feeling. <laughs> Anybody that never felt this feeling is like, man, like like driving and shit is a <laughs> shitty drive. It's like, a, it's, a shit, it's a shitty situation. I was driving and shit. How you shit on yourself, bro? Man, listen, all, all them fluids that was coming out. Listen, yeah. I, I was drinking so much orange. I'm trying to drink like yeah, two bottles. Yo, fuck you, man. Yeah, you shit on yourself? I'm going to keep it real. You shit on yourself two weeks ago. Oh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> two weeks ago. Thank you. And yo, two weeks ago, and I was like, damn, is this 40? Like, I'm yo, about to come up on yo, 40. Yo, 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 hold yo, hold yo. Hold <laughs> you niggas, y'all, y'all rap group, new rap group, LCG. Loose Cheeks Gang. No, Yo, listen, yeah. nah, it's not that. They, it's, hey, hey, fuck that B-Rock. They LCG, baby. Nah, but, Loose Cheeks but Gang. But this the thing. This the thing. I was impressed because I caught it with the cheeks and was able to hold you a it. You catcher? Listen, I caught, the, I he caught, caught it. He I caught it with his cheeks. I caught it because this was the whole thing. When I went and checked my drawers, my drawers was squeaky clean. But trust and believe, when I grabbed that toilet paper, yeah, yeah. it was real. It was. It was. So real. you a shit catcher? Hey, hey, hey man, hey. he's a cheat catcher. Hold a- on, he said. As the shit was dropping out of my anal, I squeezed my cheeks at a forty degree angle. <laughs> the I, the bro, the thing is. <laughs> I knew my stomach was rumbling wait, real crazy, wait, and then wait, I just thought I could get wait, the fart on. off. I thought wait, wait, no, no, wait, wait, hold on. What's wrong with you niggas that you niggas are shitting on yourselves? Like, bro, it wasn't I, anybody that. could do that. I, I'm trying to, I'm trying to figure out you niggas shitting on yourself. Listen, he's yeah. he's checking on this food oh right now. God. Why would you touch that with your bare hands? <laughs> These niggas in here shit on themselves. Gil did it before too. He trying front, no, man. I peed in the bed once, <laughs> and I was dreaming. I was dreaming that I was actually at the toilet pissing. So like, that's totally different. Y'all niggas plead for the Schittsburg Steelers. Y'all niggas actually, y'all, y'all niggas actually can't control what come out your ass. Nah, like, man. That's some. It's that's like some, it when it's liquidy and you fart, man. Anything can happen, yeah, bro. All right. Yeah, okay, plan. <laughs> you niggas is out of pocket. Like he in here, he in here checking on his Chi Chi now. That definitely wasn't ten minutes. Listen, though. he's smelling it. He... Just smell it, Dad. Smell it. I ain't gonna lie, it smell all right. Thank you. Okay, it smells all right. Well, let's see you eat some. Now remember, I was very impressed by the uh, by the Fifi. Dog, why are you eating it down there? Yo, he eating like, straight out the bag like, too, all crazy. Like, how you eating it down there? Like, the niggas can't see what you doing. Yeah, like, come on, I, man. I, I'm testing it. I'm, I'm making sure if it need more pizza. Damn, bro. Yo, I'm this dude Fuck, is a animal <laughs> right now. Like, yo, what are you doing, man? At this moment, I'm currently getting a flashback. <laughs> He's a fucking sad. <laughs> it's like, he really looked like a caveman out here fucking banging sticks together, man. Yeah, you got to put some more? You got you to gotta do it again? No, it's cool. I just wanted to be... I like how I like to my shit a little bit more. So it stretch more. So no so one can hear you, but go ahead. Right. Like, so you got to cook it more? Yep. I wanted to stretch more. Oh. Uh-huh. So he put more water put in, more, more water like cold it. water. So <laughs> now he's re-rubber banding it and putting it back in because it didn't meet quality. Control. This so, the first episode so, of uh, so. cooking with crooks or cooking with convicts. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Our new cooking show, well, cooking with convicts. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. So what? So the, the one thing, the Yo. one, the one thing that I <laughs> bitch. Y'all could have swore the fucking lights <laughs> blink just now on some real yeah. shit. Yo, the one thing we did learn is that he don't know how to. Properly, he don't know when his shit done. He yeah, gotta, right. He gotta, right. He got to keep cooking his shit. He don't know when it's done. You, you ain't no true veteran because you would have knew how much time exactly it needed. No, I've been. I'm a little rusty. It's been some years. Let's get into. Okay, so um, before we get into this next segment, so you you don't have control over your ass cheeks. No, what happened was that was a moment I never thought when you know to be 40 years old and saying to yourself. 
do I need a diaper? Because I, I like a diaper would have saved changed my life. It, like you did, it, you had an Ithaca diaper on them tights when they had all the shit trapped in. So it was like a diaper. It, it was the same thing. Mine is because I was just sick and I was drinking a lot of water. Him, oh. I don't know, his asshole might have been compromised. He was in a <laughs> he was in a jail cell. He for has a, a compromised long. asshole. <laughs> it's been 20 years. You know what I mean? Uh, Different reasons. That's, that's the that's the real problem. Asshole too open. <laughs> uh, shit just fall out. Yeah, it's all the searches. I ain't saying it had to be a bull doing nothing to you, but it's the, all searches, the searches. You had to keep busting it open. Every day you bust your joint open every day. This dude, man, this dude, this dude is wild, man. He would love to be search search me. You wanna search me, officer? I might got something on me. Hey, hey, that's him. He'd love hey, to get hey, searched hey. day day. Let's, let's get into who would you be? You get injected. You a guy. You get injected with AIDS. No, nah, come on, you don't fuck. Wait, 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 wait. You get injected with AIDS, right? But you get paid five million dollars a year and they give you all the medicine. So you gonna be cool, but you just got that package. So do you be sick or you just like no, no, you, no, you cool, you cool, but you just got that package and you, they giving oh, you yeah. five million a year. You get injected with herpes, but they give you two hundred bands a year. But you know that shit be popping up on you at any time. Mm. Yeah, you know I mean, or they give you thirty thousand for one month. And you got you you got the chlamydia, you got that hot sausage all month. That's a stack a day. That's a stack a day. Burning. It's a stack a day. <laughs> Who you going to be? Yo. For you going to be Herbie Hancock? <laughs> for those that never had the hot sausage, just imagine flames coming out of your penis when you're using the bathroom. My son just had that. And you trying to and Come you, on. Why you keep telling on him? He did. And listen, and listen, guys. And you're trying to hold every time that a little piss come out, you grab it. Ah! You just keep grab. You keep throwing it in the headlock. So what you trying to say? You you, you take them Seven Eleven Slurpees, or you take that package? How did the herpes work? They here and there. I think they just pop up Fucking on I, you. That, that listen, that thirty days of a fire. I don't think I could do it, man. Thirty days of fire is crazy. That shit, you, you, like flames coming out of your dick for thirty days. Yeah, you niggas is crazy. Okay, so you taking herpes? You herpes Hancock, and that's only three hundred sixty-five thousand a year. If you if you keep letting it rock for the year, that's all that is. So you ain't fucking with it. You going with the herpes, and your shit be bumped up like your joint turn into a like he said the Nestle Crunch. Your whole uh-huh. joint. I got good with hot sausage. No, it depends. <laughs> no, it depends on the day when it happened. Dev going with the package. Give me five million. Yeah. I take the package. <laughs> Dev taking AIDS. He already he, he already a raw boy. He probably already got it. Anyway. Yo, yo, so hey, yo, like, hey, yo, yo. I might as well take five thousand. I got it already. He About take five million. It. Yeah, yeah, five million. I'm taking got out the already. package already. Yeah, so yeah, he's one of them raw the boys. He, he don't give a fuck. He fuck everybody raw. <laughs> His whole life. Fuck, fucking fiends and everything. We're on the back <laughs> alley. Hey, hey, you let me tell you something. That was your, that let me was tell you something. V wish this shit would have came out four years ago. He's like, damn. This nigga already this shit came out too late. I'm finding out me. shit I never knew. He already so, got me. This nigga, fuck, this nigga fuck 70% of the women in his life are all. <laughs> no, 100%. He's, he's 100 for 100. Ain't no 100%, nigga. His percentage fuck out of every, here. every athlete <laughs> in the history of life. Fuck out of here, nigga. His percentage rate. You know how they be having a percent. Like, I didn't know. Like, sports percentage is... <laughs> Unbelievable. He's a Hall of Famer. He's a Hall of Famer and fucking Raw. In the Raw Association of America. <laughs> like he's, uh, yeah, the Raw Association of America. He's a Hall of Famer. I'm not so, what you taking? I'm not kill? only a client, I'm the Raw <laughs> President. <laughs> I'm taking the hot sausage. So, you going burned. Like you said, Cook this the shit a, really burns you. Let like it that. burn. Let it burn. You don't burn. Wasn't that Usher song? Let 30 me. grand, no? Uh, nigga, let me tell you something. You think I'm taking Herbie's? You think I'm taking the 7 Eleven Slurpee's? Do you know how that is? A whole fucking when, 32 ounce of 7 Eleven slurpees. When you, when you gotta go to a wedding and you gotta go somewhere this week and your lip just start bumping. Right, that's that happened too, right? Where you? I don't know. Is that herpes too? I think that's something different. Cause little kids could get that. I think that's like cold sores and shit. I think it's a different it's kind of herpes. Slurs, is cold sores a form of herpes? It is, but He's it's not the, cold, so he it's got not the same on, thing. On, Yo, yo, uh, my fault, yo, my fault, yo, I had to let that out. Yo, I had to let that out. Yo, 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 Gil shitted on himself. Gil shitted on himself. Gil just shitted on himself. Yo, yo, yo. 
I've been holding that motherfucker for like 15 minutes. Yo, yo, like, why would he point his ass at you? Me, at me, at me. You know no, that's some shit got, they do in jail no, to like got, show their territory. No, like, no, yo, on, wait, smell wait, what wait, it wait, could wait, be smelling. Wait, hold on. I ain't point my ass at nobody. We going to rewind We going to rewind it. I point my ass at nobody. We going to rewind it. This whole Chi Chi got me feeling like I'm in jail. So I'm saying, did this nigga just come at me? Did he offer me something? Is he offering me on a date in jail? Because I, I feel like I'm in jail right now. The stinger running, my shit out there. I feel like I'm in jail right now. So I'm just saying, did he offer me his ass? I don't know. You be the judge. But it looked like it was a, that, that was an ass offering. <laughs> we we, we going to have to replay that real quick. <laughs> no, the I fuck y'all now. I ain't offering that nigga. Fuck is y'all talking ass. about? Hey, hey, let me just say this. Oh, but Dad may say, what he going to do? You just oh, you already got, got the AIDS. package. We already cool. AIDS. Right, cool. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Niggas just going to give me AIDS. You know what I'm saying? Dad already got the AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> he, he cool. Let me. What's the top five white, white rappers of all time? Mm. Ooh. You already know who number one. Who? Without a doubt. White rapper, it don't even need to be said. Eminem. Eminem. Okay. Yes, Eminem Marshall is Mathers, one. he is. You got to say Eminem. You got to say Beastie Boys. Yes. You yep. got to say Yellow Mac Wolf. Miller. Yellow Wolf. I say Mac Miller. Oh, Yellow Wolf. Asher Rolf. Asher, Asher Rolf was that dude. He was kind of like an Eminem action, for a little Action Bronson. Mm, Ghostface. Uh, yo, I used to like Action <laughs> Bronson. used to sock niggas at his shit, right? Wildin'. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That nigga just wild. Mac Lamore. g Easy. I mean, not Mac Lamore, not for me, but I get it. He did his thing. Paul Wall. Yeah, Mac Lamore Paul did his Wall. thing. Paul Wall. That was my nigga. Paul oh, Wall. Yeah. Oh, you know, I gotta yeah, get got plex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got the pump. That was my shit. I got to get my boy in there. Oh. Oh. Vanilla Ice. That's my guy. Man, right. shut up, man. Come on, man. Marky Mark. Don't ever mention Vanilla Ice after you mention this nigga gripping grain. Right. You know, that nigga was real smooth. Like, I'm just saying, like, I, Paul Wall. Oh, oh. You're not going to disrespect Ice in, my, in front of me. Ice was a legend. Rolling in my 5.0 with my rag tap down so my hair can blow. Ooh. That, Ooh. You know what I'm oh, this nigga Ooh, really know the see. bars. Let me he see. Go, go let me see some more. You ain't you know Let's some more. Let's get it. Doom, 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 doom. Ice, ice, baby. Doom, 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 doom. Oh. Ice, ice, baby. That was like that, that. You gotta understand that whole vibe was corny as shit. No, it wasn't. No, ice was not corny. <laughs> Fuck, Fuck out of here. Fuck He's here. a fucking hater. He's an ice hater. Ice what about Lil Dicky? His name oh, is spicy. Lord. Like I'm not calling nobody Lil. Like, shout out to him, but I'm not calling. He did him. his thing, man. Him and Chris Lil, Brown with that video Lil was Dickie fire. Dickie definitely did his thing. What about Cray Sean? Oh, from the Bay Area, Gucci, Gucci. But but what I I'm hardly saying? remember. No, no, no. That. Okay, let's come up with the top five. So number one is Eminem. Without, without a, doubt. a doubt, I say where does Yellow Wolf go in there? <sighs> what about Kid Rock? My <clears> name is Kid. All right, off of legendary baby, status, he got to be in there. But All right, so Eminem, Kid Rock. Kid Rock. Kid Rock. Um, shit. Uh, oh, hold the fuck up the Beastie Boys. Yeah, yeah, we said that. We said that. Beastie Boys, put them in there. That's three. That's three. Yeah, I mean, but let's put Beastie Boys above Kid Rock. Fuck that. All right. What about, what's, what's up with Post Malone? Is he, he a dis- rapper? Did we disrespect him, Mac Miller and them? Like, this dude really rap. No, nah, no, nah, we brought them up. G-Eazy, though, is way more smooth. Like, G-Eazy come across almost like R. a nigga. Peter Mac Miller. R.I.P. to mean? Mac Miller and Mac Miller from Pennsylvania. Mac Miller's in there. I think Asher Rolf is too. Yeah, Asher, Asher Rolf's Rolf in there. That's the yeah, five. Philly. They both from Philly. Come on, no, no, man. No, no, How no, you no, gonna sure. cheat like that? No, Mac Mac Miller is from Pittsburgh. What about Weird Al Yankovic? Do he oh count? my man, Weird Al. He's a fucking legend. See y'all be no ho ho ice. Uh, oh, ho, ho, what, ho, ho, you talk about your celly? Ho, ho. Who? What? Fuck you mean my celly? What are you talking about, though? I don't know. He was locked up with a nigga named Weird Al Yankee Dick. <laughs> so he's like, he's, lying he's fucking lying on me. He's lying on me. I'm just saying he's lying on me. He was, <laughs> hold on, hold on. That was you, a celly. Was yeah. that one of the niggas you was prostituting out, but he only did hand jobs? Is that what it is? Weird Al see, Yankee see, Dick? See, what I realized Weird is, Al Yankee Dick. Hold on, hold on. Is it Al or Al? Like Weird Al Yankee Dick? Can I, can I just say something? I just, I just want to get this. I just want to get this off. Y'all two have a crazy, y'all had these crazy sexual fantasies about jail. All y'all, all y'all jail fantasies be sexual. No, so no, that no, means no. that y'all both spicy. About, no, and y'all wish y'all was you... in jail to be sex, no. to be sex, to okay, be sex Okay, hold on, let me just say this. Every time I talk to you, you had a different, you had different cellies sometimes. And I remember yeah, I one of your, cellies. I remember one of your cellies' name was Al. So I just figured that was weird Al Yankee dick. That was, no, no, that was crazy Al, man. <laughs> I never seen him about no Cra- fucking weird Cra- owl. Crazy owl. What was crazy about him? What? There was a lot of stuff crazy about him. But that's he woke you up in the middle of the night talking about, let's get physical. He was giving physical. you little pumps, nigga. He was giving you little I pumps, nigga. I want to get physical. If a, listen, he was giving you little pumps. Let's get physical. Let me see your body talk. <laughs> Yo, if somebody your body talk. Me up like that, uh, first of all, I'm going to tell you what's going on. First of all, I'm I'm tell you what's on the record. Y'all know Wallow won. The, uh, Wallow was the two-time... 
uh, state penitentiary talent show winner back to back. Come on, I never won no fucking talent show. <laughs> what the fuck? I look like being in a talent show in jail. Dog. That's the most crazy shit. Hold on, oh, hold on. They don't have. Show. Hold on. They don't have nothing like that in Man, jail. Every every fucking week, I'm, I just well, got okay, all hold this. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. What's their talent shows in jail? You gonna sit here? Talent and lie? shows? I don't know. I you, never. I where don't, niggas I don't know. performed? I don't know nothing about talent shows. Because when they call me up, talk about you did Ti joint over. <laughs> you don't, now you gonna sit here and look at me, bitch? Like you don't know what I'm talking about? What Ti joint? Chi Chi's on deck, cigarettes <laughs> all night. You lying on me. You can meet me in my cell, and you can have whatever you like. Yeah. He fucking my name up. He lied. <laughs> he was all up there. I want your body. Yo, you lied. Need He's your lying body. On me. He's lying on me. When I ain't that love, you fucking lying. You take that smut off my name, man. You, you want it, you here. gotta come get it and try it. Broke what? motherfucker, be quiet. <laughs> Line they told me. me you ain't think I was gonna get the call, no, huh? You ain't think I was gonna get the call, <laughs> so, so, huh? Let me get this right. You're trying to say I was offering my innocence? No, <laughs> some fuck I, no. I'm just trying to say he had the jail going crazy. You, you was wasn't innocent, by then. He was in the talent <laughs> show. He was up there, chi cheese on deck, <laughs> cigarettes all night. You can beat me in my cell, boy, and you can have whatever no, no, you no, like. No, no. I, yeah. I never seen no shit like He's like, I never was in no talent show, man. This guy lying on me. I never, on, oh, you huh? just performed in the yard? No. Just, <laughs> <laughs> nigga just performed in the yard. But when they, they went crazy, they gave him a standing ovation when he, when he went to, I want your body, need your body. Long as you got me. low, you don't need no. Come on, I don't try to do you know I don't trust that bitch. And and the second year he was too cock Shakur. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Yo. He was he, he was all Yo. in there. All eyes on me. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Yo, we so you done with this. You finished <coughs> But but yeah, but you know, we forgot that we need low pump, low pump, right? Low is low, low pump, right? No, we got our top five white rappers. Eminem was number one. Uh huh. Beastie Boys is number two. Yeah. Kid Rock was number three. Yup. Is Kid Rock a rap? A rap I rap. think he rapped, man, for real. Okay. Yeah. All right, cool. Uh, Who was number four? I don't, y'all said some people from Philly, but what about House of Pain? Jump around. What's the boy? Everlast. No, I'm putting Mac Miller and I'm putting uh, Yellow Wolf. All right. That's fine. I'm cool with that. Yo. Okay, All so right, now so he on. got honey, he got noodles, he got honey, he got... That's just where it get nasty. That's where it's disgusting. Shut up, Dad. That's crazy, bro. He put honey and barbecue sauce on his noodles. Dad, you just shitted on yourself. So did you. <laughs> hey, get the microphone, man. Dad, you just shitted on yourself. You don't, you don't have a voice. <laughs> All right, so he's putting barbecue sauce. He's putting sauce. barbecue sauce on his... Right here, right? Dev. And remember, this is spicy tuna mixed with barbecue sauce. You want to taste this, Tef? I don't, to be honest. Will you taste it? I will, but I don't want to. Listen, you can use your hands. Take a handful. Dog, I'm not a savage like that, man. Man, give me the knife, man. And and give 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 me the top to that joint, man. Come Y'all on, making it too. Uh, dig your hands in their jail style one time. Nah, dev. man. Fuck out of here, man. This nigga. Like that you, shit, when you D Chi Chi's, you gotta act like you in jail, Dev. I'm gonna see what this is. Oh, he man. took a lot too. I ain't gonna lie. Like, <laughs> I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. Keep it real. Threat me with no motherfucking good time. Dev like that shit. My nigga. Dev wanna go to jail. My nigga. Dev like that. Fuckers are mad with you. <laughs> My nigga, listen, 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 listen. Bro. Dev like lock me up. Bro, 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 bro. Listen. <laughs> listen. Right now, yo. <laughs> I salute you, my nigga. <laughs> hey, this is, yo, listen. No disrespect to my real, my meal prep man, shotgun shotty dog. He's shitting on you. I want this dog as my meal prep, bro. Real shit. <laughs> Wait, hold on. So that, so hold you on. said that shit good, <laughs> bro? This shit is not regular, dog. This is you good didn't even, yo. You ain't even get B Rock. <laughs> no, fuck B Rock. B Rock. <laughs> Scoop some off that plate, B Rock. No, one fuck time. that man. Just see, just see what it is, B Rock. See what it's hitting for, Rock. No, it's banging, dog. That shit bang, bro. It got a good aftertaste and everything, dog. 
Mm-hmm. No, it, no, no, it got it got it got it got it. Hold on, just for the record, my cameraman's going for seconds. No, he's, no, no, he's no, licking no. the plate. No, he's no, no, no. Yeah. That nah, shit I ain't good. Gonna hold you. This shit, nah, yeah. I ain't gonna lie, bro. That shit good like that. It really is. I would have never thought that combination of shit would taste good, and it does. I'm not bullshitting, bro. Oh, so my you listen God. right now. You proving that jail niggas because y'all niggas, y- y- you made a top quality cooch. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Last last time, you know what I'm saying? This niggas making coochies. This niggas making food, and you didn't burn down the studio. <laughs> I told you. So I'm so, happy as shit. So let them know all the ingredients for your motherfucking uh for your cheat sheet, man. Wow. First, you need to sell it like Gil to be sitting there talking to you. The motherfucker is offering whatever you need. Like you said, you can have whatever you like. That makes the whole process better. But all you need is some soups. All you need is some seafood from off a of commissary, whether it be mackerel, whether it be tuna. A little Mrs. Dash from a commissary, throw your little flavor in there. Onions, green pepper. You see how the onions and green pepper set it off? It do, bro, it's great. Yo, I'm Flip mad that you this excited about this Chi Chi. This nigga, he's, he's, he's excited. He's no, excited. because I really wish that he made way more. Yo, that's crazy, bro. And you ain't even shared with niggas. You gave a nigga a little piece how you did in jail? Yeah. You get put a little plate on piece on a little. He could have had more, but he, he, it would have cost him something. Listen, what? that's where it is. That's innocence? Where, that's, no, I'm just saying, it would have yeah, cost him yeah, his innocence? Nah. Mm-mm. Huh? Nah. Look, he's sitting over there like this, too. <laughs> nah, yeah, the joint. No, it really did hit, bro. Come on, man. Let's get into an episode. Of million dollars worth of game. He says, yo, Gilly, I got a million dollars worth of game question for you. It's not necessarily a straight up question. More or less, I'm asking for advice. Can you give us some game on the music industry? Oh, this, this and game. how getting on, how I can get on. Well, let me just say this. First and foremost, you got to outwork these niggas. Because as of right now, is probably... 60,000 rappers in Philadelphia alone. So you times that times every other city all over the world, and you really behind the eight ball. Motherfuckers that want to rap in 2020 is really behind the eight ball. Like, your shot of making it is like none in, in what's less than none. <laughs> It's not like, well, it can't be less than none. What's, what's it like? <laughs> your chances of making it as a rapper in this world is none, and then what's less than none? <laughs> like... Y'all got a shot. Oh, it's a lottery oh, ticket, oh, yo. You say they chances of what? Of making it as a rapper in 2020 is none and what's less than none. None of none. None of none. Okay, so if you if you think you're going to be successful in this music industry, you got to outwork probably 4 million motherfuckers all across, 5, 6, 7 million motherfuckers all across the country. Because that's how many rappers it is in just the United States alone, if it's not more than that. So you got to outwork them, number one. Number two, you got to have good content. Number three, you got to be active on your socials because socials, media is the way of life now. But the flip side of that is it's easier to get on than it was back in the day because you could get right on from your living room if you do the right shit. So it's a gift and a curse. There's so many much more people rapping than it was back in the day. But also to get on back in the day, you had to bump in the puff. You had to wait outside a concert. Hope you see somebody. Rap for them. Now you could post some shit up and everybody could see you from wherever you record that. Right. And... You got a, a chance to go viral. You can and get it's a, just you can get a magical repost from somebody right. or something, and it's just that easy. So understand that reposts ain't as powerful as people think they is. Right. right, but it's just that that is a possibility where he's saying before you used to go up to New York, stand right. outside that building, hoping right. you see somebody. I still stand outside repost <laughs> is extremely powerful. Let's not get this twisted. Repost is extremely powerful when the person that's reposting you. Send traffic to your page, and then when they get to your page, you actually got some shit going on. Right. Because then the people that's coming to your page will actually push, follow, and stay there. See, a repost don't mean shit to somebody who ain't got shit going on. Or they'll go to your link. 
because motherfucker, right? A motherfucker might go to your link and might purchase something or might see something new that they like it. But when you ain't got nothing going on and you want to repost and you get that repost and you real and you ain't get no followers, you ain't get no traction from it, it's because the motherfuckers that went to your page seen that you didn't have shit going on. You didn't have nothing to land them on. You didn't have nothing to keep them there. So at the end of the day, you got to work hard. You got to put your content out. You got to market yourself. You got to be an animal on them fucking socials, whether it's Facebook, whether it's Twitter, whether it's Instagram, whether every every platform that you could possibly, you know, market yourself on, you got to do it. And you got to understand, don't base your success off how many likes you get. Oh, man, uh, they, only a certain amount of people like that. They don't like this record. Uh, no, nah, bro, you got to keep it pushing, keep it pushing, keep promoting, keep pushing yourself because... When you starting off as an independent artist, you your marketing promotion. So if you and the niggas that's around you ain't marketing and promoting your shit, how you going how you gonna blow? That's the number one problem with a lot of these artists out here. They'll be doing rap. You got a fifteen homies, but none of your homies got your shit on their page. Right. I never understood that. Right. Now, <laughs> you got all these homies, but none of them don't have your album come out, you not there. Heavy. <laughs> They don't constantly post you. They but when you go on that tour, they gonna want to be it on that tour bus. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. They gonna want to soak up all. They gonna want all the amenities that come with you being a successful artist. But they didn't want to hold you down. But now that you're eating, they gonna want a job. They gonna want to roll. They gonna want to be it on the tour bus. They gonna want to get their dick sucked at the end of the sh at, at the end of the night when you get them. At your shoes. They gonna want all the amenities. All the shit that come with you being a popular rapper, but your whole journey there, them niggas didn't support you 100%. They was them just in case niggas. I'm here just in case you make it, nigga. Yeah. So you got to understand, too, and understand that all your friends ain't, some friends is, or you, you just my homie, and some friends is, yeah, you my homie, but we also do business together, too. You got to understand how to separate the two. You feel what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, sometimes you got to love niggas from a distance. I got I got, I got, got homies that when I choose to say, you know what, I just got locked up with 82 pounds of weed. You know what, my wife was, life was on the line. I got homies' lives was on the line. My homie wife was on the line. You know what, I'm going to distance myself away from the bullshit. I had to distance myself away from some niggas. Because I said, y'all niggas ain't taking the same path I'm taking. You niggas still want to operate outside the law. I'm cool. We still homies, but we going to be homies from a distance. I got to love you from a distance, nigga. Because I ain't going down on your indictment, nigga. Because you going to tell the next time something happens. I understand. Right. So at the... <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I'm Yo. going to tell you, you're going to talk about them niggas was going to tell no, he you. He tried to sneak that in there, uh, and he he, he he almost tried to trick he you. Got he, he got it. I, I thought he was talking about the nigga. Like, I ain't know he's talking about, about me. It's cool. Yeah. All right. So, at the end of the day, man, that's how you got to play it out here, man. And and all you youngest that want it in the music industry, if you really want it, you'll put the work in, and God will see you want it. And he gonna put a blessing on you. Yeah, and do the team. Get your team together. Get your right. team. You see Drake and all them. He got the same dudes with him. Right. Team. You only as strong as your team. That's what you gotta understand. Let's get into. Uh, I seen this on the internet. Some chicks was in an Uber, and Young Jock was driving the Uber, and they went off on him. They automatically judged him. Oh, you must be fucked up. You driving Ubers like damn, like and I and Young Jock has been on like loving hip hop for like the last fucking yeah few years. six years. Like he got a legendary dance, right? So, like, what? what how do y'all feel about? Is it cool? Is it should he be looked down upon? Because to me, it's like it's like if you knew yourself, when times get hard, sometimes you got to make a you got to make a way. He grinded. Right. Listen, let me explain something. I respect Young Jock because listen, he got kids to take care of. He could be doing them a boat, whole lot of other shit out here, breaking the law, and jeopardizing his freedom. He ain't going to be able to be out with his kids. I respect the motherfucker that's going to say, you know what? I got to go get it to take care of mine. Right. Shit ain't right. You know, the, you know, sometimes, one thing about the industry, the industry don't love nobody. Right. Don't think because you in the industry that 
all the shakes, the hugs, the parties, that shit gonna end one day. Right. Once you stop being hotter, once motherfuckers stop talking about you, nobody care about you. But I re- shout out to Young Jock because he ain't begging nobody. He ain't running around. He said, man, it is what it is. Make some money, man. Right. He got That's what he told me. He said, you know, I, I look at this as the easy way I can make some money while I'm downtown. Yeah, he swallowed his pride to get, get his bread. That's on him. But one thing, one thing about us black people, we love putting a foot on a motherfucking neck when they down. Right. Mm-hmm. It, like, them same chicks might have sucked and, 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 his dick 10 years ago. And, 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 yeah, but, but, and, and, but, what's cool is, let me just say this. To all you artists, you got to be mindful of this. Don't forget what you was about to say either, Lo. All you artists, you got to be mindful of this. The same people you see on the way up is the same people you see on the way down. So on the way up, when you think, oh, I got the new Bentley now. I got all the jewelry now. All the bitches sucking my dick now. Oh, I'm a shit on everybody. I'll fuck you, nigga. Uh, Understand uh, that uh, what goes up must come down. So it's not too many people that's on top forever. It's not too many Dr. Dre's out here. It's not too many Jay-Z's out here. You know how I many niggas had number one albums in the last 10 years and you don't even know who they are no more? Right. Number one, I'm talking about number one songs. Right, right. And they gone. Right. Yeah. Nigga might have had the number one single in the country for 42 weeks straight and now Nobody know you about don't him. even know where he at now. Right. But so, for the chicks, like they in the Uber. You know, I don't know what their situation is, but you in the Uber getting driven. You know what I'm saying? You know, who get, you know, it's, it's, I'm just saying it could I know, be anything. I know, I know millionaires. No, no, I, that's why I said I don't know their situation. But bottom line is you getting a service for somebody. So to disrespect somebody that's giving you a service in any way, no matter who he is, she's trying to disrespect the person that's giving them a service. But, that, but that's the thing with our people. Our thing with our people is always to pull their phone out and expose somebody. Right. right. That's the shit in the black, black culture. Right. Oh, I'm going to expose you. Oh, look at I this. I could drive this shit oh. off a cliff, bitch. Oh, Instagram. Oh, you know, everything is based off Instagram. People don't really care about that. And then you got to understand that you probably had two, this probably was two females who've probably never been in a limelight in their life. Correct. So this was the most limelight they ever got by posting that shit. And you know, sometimes people pop back off too. Let me tell you something. Instagram is so crazy and social media is so crazy that motherfuckers will do shit just to be talked about and have and get some acknowledgement for one day. They just pick their phone up, they see the comments, they get the DMs, they just had that shit made their day Mm -hmm. for one day. Two, three days later, nobody's talking about the shit. Nobody gives a fuck. Right. But long as they, like, I get posts from people who ask me to post them up, and it's like, post you up for what? What are you doing? What the fuck are you doing? But it's all an ego thing. He posts me up. They go to my page all day. They get to read the comments. They get to see I mean, like, damn, 80, 80, 42,000 motherfuckers. Like, my pick is all, like, what does this shit mean? Yeah. You 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 got some love for a day. But that's, that's all motherfuckers oh, want. That's not love. Right. Right. Explain and what it is somebody, because you done got on some nigga shit. You done ate your chichi. Now you in here super tired. Yo, like yo, you yeah, fucking, he's sweating and everything. Like, he like put in mad to, work. Nigga tell me, that's not love. But real quick, real quick. This recently. No, I mean, he, he the just, fuck he, up, man. But real, he just, he, I was looking at him. He just looked like one of my old sellies. Come on. Like, but, but why was you smiling? Bro, that's crazy. Like, but no, did you know that the dude that the played old Elvin. The that you used to do what with? No, I'm just saying you just look like one of my old sellies. But go ahead. You know the boy that used to play Elvin wait, on the, wait, on no, the no, Cosby no, 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 show? Hold on, wait. So you eat a chi-chi and a nigga start looking like your old celly? <laughs> no, I'm just saying. What like, like, kind of freak shit you no, in No, that's not, that's not, I'm not saying it like chichi, that. Nigga eat a chi-chi, get nigga-itis, yo, I'm just saying you look like my old celly. No, I'm just saying. I'm just Fuck, saying. nigga, I stabbed the shit out you in this For joint, what, man? man? You my, you my You're family. sizing me up, nigga. Fuck, <laughs> no, man, that's saying. incest. Nigga, no, I'm not saying it like that. I'm not saying it. How the fuck you eat a chi-chi? We done been doing the show. We 40 fucking Four episodes in, some shit like that. All of a sudden, you eat a fucking, you cook a chichi a little. You look like my salad. The chichi fill his clip back up. (laughs) (laughs) His clip full. (laughs) (laughs) Fuck is you talking about this joint? Like, think I don't look like hold on. I don't look like your celly nigga. Fuck is you talking about? No, we ain't. I look like your cousin, motherfucker. (laughs) Fuck right. Fuck be fifty something. (laughs) You look like my. You starting to look more and more like. Like big highs. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck I don't. Big highs. <laughs> fuck is you talking about? 
looking like Weird Al. <laughs> you looking like you Weird Dick. You looking like Weird Al Yankee Dick more and more every day. What? Crazy Al. <laughs> you looking like Crazy Al, man. <laughs> like, like, this thing is crazy, man. But listen, man. Shout out to Wallow. He did his little thing right here with it. And Dev wanted him to make some more. Look, Dev, I do. I'm going to keep it all the way real. Dev would do a 60 day stint just so he yeah. can get some more nah. of that shit. Look at that. Now, you could make this same shit in the <laughs> pot, nigga. Look, B yeah. Rock will be. Dev, would you be hey, somebody's celly to hey, eat a meal like that? Hey, listen, yes, he would. Fuck out of here. Let, let, let me tell you something. Fuck hey, out let me tell you something. And B Rock, no more fucking cold cuts and hot fries in the board of verb. He, he, he going to have all the shit. No, B Rock going to die. Could you, could, you, could you hook that up? He's going to die. He going to give me, can you make me a vegan cheese? A vegan one. A vegan chi chi? I need a vegan chi. <laughs> that was a legend. Real quick, real quick, shout out to Power, because they gave the one boy that played Elvin in, in um, you know, the old uh, Cosby show. He got caught, or not caught, he was working at his job and shit like that, and somebody tried to expose him. Yeah, they tried to expose him. He was him, a legend. Played him out all crazy, and then all these companies offered him acting jobs, so now he back. Fully back. He was just on the last episode of Power, all that shit. Well, hopefully that. that'll happen for Jock. Because one thing about one thing about Jock, that motherfucker said, man, I'm going to do what I got to do to take care of mine. He ain't doing nothing wrong. And it's fucked up that people would look down on people that got a job. Like, you saying it like something wrong for working with Uber. No, what you saying is I'm better than you. Yeah, like, yeah. fuck is it, man? That's what you're saying. you saying I'm better than you. And for me to be doing some shit that you possibly could do, like, why is you doing this? You better than me. You ain't supposed to be here. Yeah. Why is you, uh, this bitch, this is a job. You feel what I'm saying? And and one thing you got to understand about life, this shit's about ups and downs. I done had some fucked up moments where no, where none of these niggas ever knew I was fucked up because I ain't wearing that shit on my face. You hear me? And I know that I got to put some work in to get what I need to get. So at the end of the day, it ain't about, it's not about how you feel about me. It's about how my family feel about me. It's about how these bills at the first of the month feel about me. Do they like me or not? Can I take care of these motherfucking bills? See, you feel what I'm saying? Motherfuckers be quick to judge a motherfucker, but when you hit them rough times, how you going to react? How you going to bounce back? Is you going to have too much pride to say, I got to do what I got to do for this moment? Because let's be for real, he could be down today and he could be up tomorrow. That's just how life go. Absolutely. That's just how life go, and I'm going to repeat this. I never, it don't matter how much money you got, but when you you die, because I ain't never seen nobody pull up in a hearse and behind them they had a U-Haul truck with all they shit in it. Your, your, your sneaks, your your jewelry, your, your cars, your house, your bitches, your weed, that shit don't go to heaven with you. It don't go to hell with you. So what's, what's most important is that he's secure with himself enough to say, <laughs> I ain't going to sit back and watch my family starve. I don't give a fuck what I got to do. Yep. I don't give a fuck what a nigga think about me. I don't give a fuck how you feel about me. Okay, go ahead and set your Say what everything. But Say I got it. to feed my family. I got a task at hand. And I ain't breaking no law. I ain't, I ain't breaking no law. I ain't disrespecting right. nobody. I, so at the end of the day, I want to give a shout out to all the Uber and Lyft drivers out there that helping everybody get to, you know, get to where they need to get at. Right. You see what I'm saying? And, you know, uh, take pride in you. got a great job. You know, you're doing your own thing. You're on your own time. Right. And fuck, you know, and everybody out there is just like so judge. It's crazy how we think, man. You know what I mean? And it's fucked up. It's fucked up that somebody right. we even look, trying but look, to. But look, at, look how motherfuckers think. Meek Mill said it the best. At one time, Wallow was the bit. Explain so, explain so, what bit is for so, people so, that don't know what bit so is. So bit is a nigga we clown. Yeah. A nigga we laugh at. A nigga we joke upon. So even in the mittens of himself. He was saying Wallow was a nigga that we used to sit around and be like, look at this nigga. This nigga's a fucking goofy. Oh, he. No, Wallow was just being himself. He just ain't. He 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 understood that. Uh, I went to jail at 17 years old. I didn't tell him nobody. I stood with the fuck I did when 95% of you niggas would have been scared the fuck to death and would have ratted on your fucking mama to get out of there. Yes, sir. So he just came home and bit himself. And now he got to some money, some legal money, because he took all the energy that he used to take doing negative shit, and he channeled that shit into some positive shit. 
And God said, oh, no, 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 nigga, you really want it. No, you didn't really want it back then because you channeled all that good energy you got into some negative shit. You didn't want it back then. I had to sit you down because if I didn't sit you down, you probably was going to get shot in your head and you probably would have never got to this point where you're at now. Right. So at the end of the day, man, everybody out there, man, be you, man. The young jock, man, I salute you, man. I ain't, I, ain't jock, a nigga that's going, I ain't a nigga that's going to judge you because you decided to do Uber or Lyft to feed your motherfucking family. And I ain't going to never judge you, motherfucker. I was working in penitentiary kitchen you know for motherfucking mean? 19 cents an hour. Right. So. Fuckers, I'm just look at somebody. Oh, you, you. But it paid off because you could cook your motherfucking ass off. Like, I tell oh, you that. Oh, God. Here you go. <laughs> See? Here you go. Here you go. <laughs> you was Here the chef go. of oh, North. My God. You look like my celly. Like no, I fuck, I don't. I'm just saying I'm not. I no. don't. I like don't look like, he look like he won't Wait, do he look like the celly that you used at a <laughs> king size bed? <laughs> no, wait, no, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. No, no, no comments. <laughs> when y'all used to share one blanket, y'all used to be, take your blanket, take his blanket, make one big blanket. He made his own electric blanket. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, man, I want to thank everybody. For, I want to thank everybody for tuning in to Million Dollars Game presented by Bar Stew Sports, man. Listen, man, I'm Wallow267. <laughs> I'm Gilly the King, man. We love y'all for tuning in each and every week, man, for the supporters. Unbelievable. And it's just like that. Right.